So we all know that most of the time when we buy a computer monitor, the speakers that may come with it really don't sound all that great. And then we have to spend more money to buy a system that gives us better sound. And that's where this product comes in. This is the Blue D Bluetooth Dual Speaker Desktop Soundbar. Now you can buy this online right now and I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick it up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So this is pretty much what you're going to get in the box. You get the sound bar. Like I said before, it does have dual speakers. It's got Bluetooth capability and it also has this RGB LED that you can make it do uh, some different things to sound. Like right now I have it kind of just cycling through different sounds. It kind of makes it a little more lively on your desktop. I think it looks pretty cool. And it also has a couple different ways to connect your computer. Um, it does come with a USB connection that does power the system. It does not have a built-in battery. And then it also has the aux jack, which is the three and a half inch a millimeter jack that you can plug in pretty much anything that has that jack with and then you also have the capability of doing that bluetooth for wireless uh, but you do have to power it up some way right now i do have it plugged into a power bank just to kind of power it up to show you uh, what the led looks like but we're going to go ahead and test the sound on my imac so let's take a look around the device itself so it is pretty much surrounded by plastic this metal grill on the front here is metal. On the side here, it does have some little uh, LED accents and this is also your volume up and down button. On the other side, it has the little LED accents as well. On the bottom here, you do have your RGB LED. and also has a little headphone jack on the front uh, side here in case you wanna quickly plug in some headphones, maybe for a late night gaming session or movies or whatever. And then we have some rubber feet on the bottom here. Now one thing that might deter you is the fact that the cable is affixed to the device itself. You cannot take it out. Um, so if anything were to happen to that cable, you would have to replace the whole unit. That's the only downside that I can see. Okay, so here I have the Blue D set up with my iMac here. As you can see, it fits perfectly underneath the iMac, kind of like it was uh, made to be there. It is also connected with the three and a half inch millimeter headphone jack. I will connect it through Bluetooth and we'll also test it that way. And as you can see, the LED is cycling through its connection there as well. Now I'm gonna try to give you the best uh, example of what this sounds like. It does get pretty loud. Um, I don't hear a lot of distortion, which is great. Um, but you have two ways to control the volume. You have the knob on the side here that you can raise and lower the volume, or if it's connected to your computer uh, like it is, you can always just use the volume uh, on the computer like I can on my Mac. So we're gonna go ahead and play some sound to give you a little idea of what this sounds like. The bass uh, is not, a, there's not a lot of bass, but it's got a little bit of bass. And like I said before, it does get super loud. Now you can also plug in a pair of headphones if you need to, and in case you're playing you know, somewhere where you don't wanna make a lot of noise, you don't have to fish around uh, on your computer for the jack, you can just use the one right there. So let's go ahead and play some sound and see what this thing can do. So now this is about half volume. I have the Blue D turned all the way up and then I have my computer at half volume. So I'll turn it up kind of all the way to let you listen, but it's super loud. So wow, <laughs> this thing is it can get super loud, definitely lo way loud for you to hear, especially if you're sitting directly in front of it. But because it gets so loud, you can be walking around your room or whatever, and it uh, you be able to hear it very easily. So you can also play and pause 
uh, the sound through the little button on the side here, but when it's playing through your computer with things like you know video game or maybe YouTube, it'll just mute and unmute the sound. So I'll go ahead and play this again so you can hear, and then I'll show you how the mute works. So let me just push this in once. The LED turns off to let you know that it is muted, and if you want to uh, turn it on again, you just press it in one time. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and go into our computer Bluetooth settings, and I'll show you how to hook it up uh, to your Bluetooth. So here we are in the settings. We do have our Bluetooth on, and again, you can use this with your phone as well. We'll go ahead and hold in the button here. We'll push it in, hold it. Okay, that'll let you know that it is pairing. And as you can see, the LED is blinking red and blue. And there we go. There is the SK010. That's the Bluetooth soundbar we want to connect to. So we'll just connect. Okay, so we are connected. I will unplug. I unplugged the little three and a half inch millimeter jack. So now we're going to be just using the Bluetooth. Okay, so now let's go back into our YouTube video and we'll go ahead and play the sound here. And to me, that sounds just as good as the uh, three and a half inch millimeter jack. So now you can also change the way that the LEDs light. If you just double press this really quickly, it'll change the way that it lights up. And as you can see, it does have that rhythmic mode where it kind of blinks the LED uh, to the music, which is pretty cool. And another really cool thing that it can do in Bluetooth mode that it can't do in the three, three and a half inch millimeter is to play and pause YouTube videos. Um, so again, the way you want to play and pause is the same way we do it uh, with the jack. You just press once to play. And then press it again to pause. And then to change the mode from the rhythmic mode, you can turn it off as well as back to the breathing. And that's just the double tap of the little button here. So I will also tell you that I did watch a movie. I played a little bit of a Transformers movie. The sound was <laughs> super clear. It was really loud. You don't have to worry about not being able to hear or anything like that. Uh, there was no distortion. The bass was actually better on the movie than it was uh, listening to the music. So I definitely think it's a pretty good deal uh, for what you're getting. And it also seems to fit pretty well, especially if you're using an iMac. I definitely think it's a pretty good product, especially for what you're uh, spending on it. So if you're going to use it for maybe watching some movies or doing some gaming, I definitely don't think you're going to be disappointed, especially how clear and distortion free the audio sounds. Another thing I wanted to test was to make sure that there was no audio lag. So I connected the Blue D up to my iPhone 12 by Bluetooth and then I played a YouTube video where people were just talking and I didn't notice any uh, unsync between people's lips and the audio coming out of the system, which is always great. Another thing to note is if you are using headphones and you do use the little headphone jack here, you can always adjust the volume with the little knob here so you don't have to uh, search around for volume controls on your computer or whatever device you're using. Now, if you were curious if this works with Xbox or anything like that, it will not play audio through the USB jack. That's there purely for power. The only way you're going to play uh, any sound through this is either through that headphone jack or by Bluetooth. Now, one cool little setup that you could do is plug this soundbar into maybe your Nintendo Switch, maybe a PS4 if, you, if you're using it on the go. All you need to do is plug in the little headphone jack into the switch. Then if you have a little adapter that fits on the bottom here that has USB, you can plug that in. But I'm using a power bank just to power 
uh, this little demo for you. But like I said, if you had a little uh, USB-C adapter on the bottom, I'm sure it would power this device. And then you got your little cool little LED light at the bottom. So now you got a nice little uh, gaming station for yourself that puts out a lot more volume than the Nintendo Switch would. So let's go ahead and see what this little thing can do with the Nintendo Switch. Then you can put the soundbar into rhythm mode, turn off the lights, and enjoy the show. And again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick it up yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.